Good morning and happy Friday VBHS. We hope you had a fantastic week. Here's your episode 149 from Pointer Pack News. Today, VBHS celebrates Veterans Day. PPN wanted to take an extra moment to respect all of those who have served our country. Lastly, for VBHS News, it's time to purchase your annual yearbook. This year, they've made it really easy by making it completely online. For your yearbook, visit yearbookforever.com and search Van Buren High School. If you're wanting a senior ad or a business ad, check out VBHS's OSP portal. We've got a link in our description. The absolute last day you can buy a yearbook is January 26, 2024. The cost is $50 now, but goes up 5 in January. So order today. Now, now on, on to sports. sports. Welcome to last week's sports. Last Saturday, the boys and girls basketball team hosted their green and white game, which was really white and black because there's just practice jerseys. But anyways, the black team won for both. Go dogs! The Prancers competed at Cabot this weekend and brought home first in Palm, second in Jazz, and second in Kick. Their state competition is coming this Saturday, tomorrow, at Elma. Congratulations to the Pointer football team on sealing the win against Salem Springs on Friday, which helped seal their spot in the 5A playoffs, which is being played tonight. Tuesday, the basketball team had their benefit game in Maumelle. And the girls basketball team had their benefit game at home against Chekatov. Thursday, the girls basketball team played another home game against St. Mary's. And today, the football team travels to West Memphis to play in the first round of the state playoffs. Saturday, the cheer team has a competition in Hot Springs. And dance competes in the state tournament in Alma. Welcome to next week's sports with Drew. Basketball plays Rogers at Claire Bates Arena Tuesday. Basketball also plays Shallow Christian at home on Thursday. I'm Cam. And I'm AG. Here's other sports. An MLB first. The Texas Rangers defeat the Arizona Diamondbacks 5-0 to win their first World Series title in franchise history. This is a stunning turnaround for a team that just lost 102 games two years ago. For the first time ever, the NBA is hosting an in-season tournament. There have been some mixed opinions on the courts that the NBA has decided to use. What are your thoughts? Welcome, Welcome to weather. weather. I'm Avery. And I'm Brindley. Today, we're going to have a high of 62, and we're going to have a low of 46. Over the weekend, we're going to have a high of 65, and a low of 40. Through the next week, we're going to stay in the 50s. We're going to feel that real winter weather. A historically high number of U.S. parents are choosing to homeschool their children. That number during the last academic year was 51% higher than in 2017-2018 in states with available info, according to government data crunched by the Washington Post. At the same time, public school enrollment dropped by 4%. So what's going on? Parents cite several reasons for doubling up as education administrators. Schools failing to meet their kids' unique needs, bullying, and increasing concerns that the curricula doesn't align with their values. But there's also economic factors at play. Government programs in several states offer parents thousands of dollars worth of homeschooling support each year, while nonprofits provide funds to homeschoolers too. Many education experts are skeptical that most of parents can't match the teaching skills of trained teachers. They note that a few requirements exist to ensure quality in homeschools, and they worry that the homeschooled kids might miss out on formative schoolyard socializing. In climate news, groundwater supplies in the U.S. are dwindling. A time survey found that states are unprepared for the coming crisis. 
Danish company canceled two multi-billion dollar wind farms of the New Jersey coast, a blow to the Biden administration's climate plans. In business and economy, Disney would take full control of Hulu, buying out Comcast for more than $8.6 billion. Teachers in Portland, Oregon went on strike, demanding higher wages, a cap on class sizes, and more. Remember last week when we talked about the White House discussing AI issues? Did you know that AI chatbots invent information at least 3% of the time, and some as much as 27% of the time? Apparently so, per the morning brew. In politics, we're starting to get hit with presidential policies as the next term will be in 2024, about a year from now. So what are the major points of contingency? The Roe v. Wade Supreme Court ruling from 2022, inflation and the economy, ageism, yep, Truly the age of the people running in office is cause for concern per the New York Times. It's still early, but Biden appears to have lost considerable popularity among young and non-white voters. Voters under 30 who leaned hard for Biden in the last election now favor him by just a single percentage point. Nearly 70% of non-white voters under 45 said they voted for Biden in 2020. Now only 49% support him. Only 360 days to go. If you'll be 18 by then, be sure to keep up, be informed, and make a good decision based on your values. In Israel, some of the major fighting has happened both above and below ground. In the north at its border with Lebanon, Israel is fighting with Hezbollah. Per the Council of Foreign Relations, Hezbollah is a Shiite Muslim political party and militant group based in Lebanon, has fostered its reputation as a state within a state. Founded in the chaos of the 15-year Lebanese Civil War, the Iran-backed group is driven by its opposition to Israel and its resistance to Western influence in the Middle East. A survey from YouGov found that almost 1 in 10 Americans do not own a single physical book. On the other hand, 3% of Americans own more than 1,000 books. And while nearly a third of Americans don't organize their bookshelves at all, those who do are most likely to sort by genre, 22%. Only 10% soar by author, and even fewer, 3% arranged by color. Where do you fall on this? And last but not least, here's some random news worth mentioning. Tyson Foods recalled nearly 30,000 pounds of dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets after people said they found small metal pieces in them. Yikes. Anyways, that's it for us this week. Lay off the chicken nuggets for now. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to DM our Instagram at BBHS Pointer Pack News so we can feature you in our student submission section of the episode. Don't forget, some of the subs could end up in the yearbook. Till then, wear your seatbelt, drink some water, and tell us when you love them. Have a great Friday and a great weekend! Cite several reasons for double. Yeah! <laughs> See, I was really close. You're gonna lie. Is this? Hezbollah. Tendency. 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 That's it. Let's go! Yeah. Oh, that wow. was a solid high five. That was, that ring my That was a gorgeous.